Hey there everyone, it's Moose and thank you so much for joining me back here. Today is the day. As you can see, my bookshelf is very, very messy. It's been over a year since I have organized this, I would say. I know it has been because we've lived in this house for a year and the last time I did anything with my shelf was when we moved in. So today I have two goals. Anyways, I have two goals. I'm going to clean out my shelf and reorganize it. This is just going to be the reorganizing video, but as I take the books off the shelf, I'm going to set them aside and I'll do that in a separate video. So my goal today is to dwindle down my bookshelf. I want to get rid of the books that I don't care about, that I've either read and just don't feel like keeping, or I don't plan on reading, you know, that kind of thing. So this is a bookshelf clean out reorganizing video I guess anyways let's just get started I don't want to spend a lot of time doing this my son is napping I am going to be listening to the King's Cage which is book three in the Red Queen series while I do this just so you know I think you can see the shelf a little better from right there so that's what we're going with big tote is full of books that I just don't want anymore and I want to get rid of. So this is what I have left. There are some books back behind. My bookshelf is too too deep. It's a deep shelf but I don't know how I want to organize these. My top shelf will probably stay the same. I only took two books off the top shelf that I don't want anymore. I don't know. I'm going to look and see. I'll figure it out.
insert a clip of what it looks like and kind of explaining why I put things where I put them. Okay guys, so here's my bookshelf. I have all of my Twilight books, Lord of the Rings, Ethan gave me that. I have Illuminae, just the first one, <laughs> my Catching Fire, the Maze Runner, Amanda Hawking's Trill series, I have my Agatar, Fahrenheit 451, Uprooted. So this top shelf is basically um, some of my favorite books and series, minus that one. That one's not a favorite, but it just fit there. That's where it needed to go. I really enjoy this classic. I really enjoyed Naomi Novik's Uprooted. I want to read more from her. Then I have kind of just some random standalones. Some of them are classics. Some of them are YA. This one's YA. This one's YA. This one's a Christian fiction book. So I mean, just randoms. And then I have some mass paperbacks here that are also fiction. Then I have some more YA series that I enjoy, Narnia. And then this is my classics section. And again, these mass paperbacks are classics as well. These not so much. These are just random fiction books. I don't even like Shakespeare, but I did enjoy these histories. So I have these up here. Some poetry books. I like Jane Eyre, Frankenstein, or Miss Hemingway. I didn't really care much for this, but I don't know. It looks good, right? <laughs> Some of my penguins, some collections. So yeah, just my, my classics section. And then these bottom two shelves are, ignore Sam's toys, <laughs> are my TBR shelves. So I have some of the books for the Throne of Glass series, Ember and the Ashes, Ruin of Kings, Curse of Dark and Lonely, Three Dark Crowns. I can't wait to get to the fifth season. Some mass markets. And then most of these are YA except for Chronicles of the Black Company. And then my bottom shelf uh, series by Neil Shusterman. These are classics. These are all uh, hardbacks except for the top one. And I just put that there because it goes with this one. It's part of the same series. Just some random books. To Kill a Mockingbird is a classic. The Red Badge of Courage is a classic. These fell down. They're not supposed to be like that. I have my Name of the Wind. Um, and then I have read these. So like from here over RTBRs, and then I've read most of these except for The Wise Man's Fear, but I have read The Name of the Wind. And then this little elephant is so sweet. Apparently in Indian culture, um, they give you elephants when you get married. I don't know if it's supposed to bring good luck. I can't remember exactly what my professor told me, um, but I got married when I was still in college. And so she gave me this as like a a wedding gift. It was so sweet. And then Ethan gave me that rock. You'll find I have a, a bunch of little knickknacks on my shelf of just stuff that people gave me. But anyways, there's my shelf. Overall, I'm happy with it. I think it turned out pretty good. What do you think? You think it turned out good? Yep. It looks a lot fuller now. I don't know. It looks a lot more crowded, but I like it. I've never done my books sideways like this before like laying down I've always had them all like straight up no matter if it was this bookshelf or I used to have some of the white bookshelves that everybody else has I've never done them this way but I like it but yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it be sure to subscribe down below and leave a comment you guys are awesome I am thankful for you and we'll be back here next time guys see ya say see ya say bye bye Maggie? Hi, Maggie. See ya.